Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to start some practical tools for the networking. There are various different tools like Netcat, SoCat, PowerShell, Wireshark, and many more tools. In this video, we are going to focus particularly on the Netcat. So, what is Netcat? Instead of just googling or hearing from anyone, the best way is to give the man command for the tool or command. You will get all the details related to this. Netcat is a Swiss Army knife. This is just a phrase like thing. Netcat synopsis that is a, how we can give the command is that Netcat then option, host name, ports. Uh, if you don't want to give a DNS name, then you can use a dash n command. I'm going to show you or demonstrate you in further video. For the listening, there is a nc dash p on which port we are going to listen and or that options. The main thing is here. Netcat is a simple Unix utility which reads and writes data across network connection using TCP or UDP protocol. What exactly happening in Netcat is that we are opening a port on our side and sending a request from our host or uh, attackers or target site. Then we establish the connection and then we can execute just the commands or we can chart it or transfer any malicious file or like that. So for the Netcat, there are basically two types bind shell and reverse shell what is that bind shell is a shell when we attach executable to the listening port and reverse shell is when we attach executable to the requesting port so what all this stuff i am talking about so let's do it hands on uh, for this i am not going to use a terminal i am going to use a terminator so first of all i'm clearing this then exit and then i'm opening a terminator so first of all let's see the netcat uh, syntax that is a nc if you want to send a request then dash nv dash n is for the skip dns and v is for the verbose ability then your ip address and then finally the port number and uh, your attachments or like that thing and for listening you can give dash lvp that is a listening l for listening p for word possibility then p for the port number and 4444 and here also you can uh, give attachments or like uh, binding shell like uh, e and bin bash like that Oh, okay i'm writing this here lvp then okay wait lvp 4444 and attachments okay these two are the syntaxes of course it's going to not giving any output because i am just right here for the understanding purpose i'm going to clear terminal first thing you know is the target ip address and for finding the ip address we give ifconfig command in Linux operating system. So my IP address is 192.168.154 and 192.129. So instead of remembering this pass uh, IP address, I'm going to copy it. So how to copy? The in terminal, if you are use, uh, if you are a Windows user, then you might press just a Control C, which will automatically cancel the command. You can see here, and it goes to the next uh, again performance. But for copy, you can press Control Shift and C, which will copy, and for paste, Control C, uh, Control Shift and then V. So these basic things you must know, and I'm going to tell you along the video, not going to teach you uh, specifically. So now we know the host IP address. Let's uh, send a request to him. That is an nc netcat, then dash nv. Then IP address is just copied and on the port number what do you think what's going to happen it's not going to open any connection because currently this target machine is not listening uh, on port 4444 that's why the connection is refused so for that first of all we need to uh, start listening i'm going to split it vertically clear command then let's bigger the font a little bit Mm. 
okay that's it enough clear command then for the listening just now i told you and c dash lvp for the listening port number and enter listening on port 4444 now let's uh, send the request and c sorry and v then ip address and then port number now you can see that the connection is established with the host ip address from this ip address just understand that these two are ip address are different and we are trying to connect to the another machine as currently i don't have another machine so i'm trying to teach you on the same machine with the different terminals so now you can chat with this another machine hi the then hello i'm from listening port you can see that the message comes here Hi, hello i am from listening port just now you can type with each other but that's not the purpose of making a netcat the purpose is lot more bigger than this i am going to clear the terminal then clear next thing in this video i am going to show you how to pass any file over the network with our own connections and for that we are going to um, open a particular port and then trying to send a file over the network so suppose this is the sender and this is the receiver um, you might not uh, getting understanding so suppose this is the sender and this is the receiver we are going to create one file here like this and we are going to create another file here which is basically blank file and after that we are going to start connection between both of them uh, connect here we are going to listen and redirecting the output to the this file whatever come on the connection then we are going to start the connection at this point here for the sender side and we are going to attach a attach this file over the connection so as soon as the connection is going to established it will send whatever attachments are there and the attachments will be received here and as we are redirecting this attachment the all data is stored in this file so how this going to happen let's see practically uh, first of all i am going to create a file so basically i'm going to use a echo command echo command you might know echo command is just used to means uh, just printing whatever we written but with the help of redirection operation we can redirect it to the any file so i'm going to create a new .txt on the desktop uh, so for that i need to first change my directory to the desktop desktop okay then i'm going to create echo this message is from desktop okay i'm going to move this directory to the another directory let's ls then cd let's move to the music uh okay wait uh come back from the music ls cd let's move to the pictures folder ls you can see that picture folder is empty folder okay let's create a blank file here uh with the help of just listening command only ns lvp 4444 and redirecting to the incoming .txt i will show you what's exactly happening currently if uh, i'm in pictures folder only if i give ls command the, the folder is blank as soon as i hit this command and again if i try to check then there is a file is already created let's see what's inside that file file is blank there is no uh, you might know that cat command is used to whatever return in that file which will be displayed on the terminal let's establish the connection and send this new .txt file and for this we are going to first open the connection and then we are going to send this file and see and we won over the 444 port then redirection arrow and new.txt now let's first understand what's happening exactly 
you are seeing that the new dot txt redirection arrow is towards the connection you can see this so the whatever content in new dot txt is uploaded to this port number and this connection is start and receive at this point and whatever the content received in this connection is redirected to incoming dot txt so let's practically see these things it will be the better understanding i'm going to hit the enter button you can see that the connection is established and let's check again ls command file is already there and cat command you can see that previously there is nothing in the cat uh, incoming.txt but now there is a text message which is this this message is from desktop and this is sent from the new .txt file if you want to check then you can check here simply ls then cat new .txt see this message is from desktop so now we are understand that how the connections has been established uh, opening the port and then sending the files we now understand the two things the first thing is how to open the connections how to listen anything and how to establish the connection over the port and how to send the file okay so the third thing we are going to see is how to run or uh, execute command over the another computers to execute the command from the another's computer we must need to bind any shell means attach any shell so let's uh, see how this will done uh, first of all i'm going back to my home directory here also cd dot dot then clear command then here also clear command basically i like the very much terminator because you can split it however you want if you want to see how to install terminator or how terminators features work then i will make a separate video on it uh, now i'm going to make uh, change the user this user must be sudo so uh, in previous video i told you the sudo command is used to uh, execute the above means uh, follow up command temporary as the super user and su command is used to change the current user to the super user now i am switching to the super user i need to give the password okay now i am working as a root user is here let's check what are the logins on the both sides you can see that here login is as a cal user and here login is as a root user if you don't know what is the who am i uh, then basically who am i is the command which will show you which user you are working currently on the terminal so on this terminal mm, give me a sec on this terminal you are working as a root user and on this terminal you are working as a kali user okay so let's run clear command here also okay let it be we will be helpful uh, first of all we are going to perform a reverse shell okay so what is the reverse shell in reverse shell we are going to send a shell from the connection shell from the connection to the listening port okay let's first uh, start a listening port uh, dash lvp 4444 okay and here I'm going to give command as uh, oh no wait 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 okay and C and V and then attaching the shell that is uh, executable where it is located in bin bash folder if you don't know how this uh, I'm giving the path just refer my first video on this channel you will get what inside the bin bash folder and what is the file system I am explained everything in that video you will be uh, really get knowledge from this about the file system in the Kali Linux so let's enter now you can see that the connection is established uh, who am I okay sorry uh, I am using a reverse shell right okay so the access I get is for this machine not here so if I 
give the command who am I you can see that Kali I am currently here as a root user but I am giving a shell as a Kali because this shell is transferred from this machine to this machine I guess you are understanding this kind of stuff uh, the networking basic networking knowledge is most important for this kind of stuff you will get all the things now I can perform anything you can see ls command cd dot dot command then again ls mm, give me a sec okay ls command uh, again I am going to another folder then ls command and uh, like that I can I can perform anything I want to the with the host machine here here current target machine is this and this is my login uh, I can send any malicious file or start any Apache server or uh, SHS services on the machine like that stuff and uh, over the network I can if this is a web pen testing then I can just start any server and transfer any malicious file and then open a backdoor this kind of stuff I can do with this commands okay so that is the later part stuff I will show you uh, however we move forward clear command then who am I Kali and here who am I root okay now I am going to take access of this machine over this machine just remember here the machine is root machine and here the user is as a Kali machine I want to target this root machine so first of all I'm going to listen a port and just sending cell from here bin sash okay now listening on the port and just I'm executing the connection between these ports you can see that now I get access how can we identify just type who am I command you can see that the current user is a root user but I am logging it as a Kali user still this is working as a root user because I just get access from this machine now you as you are super user you can do whatever you want cd dot dot then perform any commands uh, cd again dot dot ls here then again cd dot dot to move to the root machine then you can see that here all the other folders you can take any kind of access I can also move to the root folder here because I'm working as a super user here uh, clear then ls ls uh, okay, cd dot dot and ls you can see that whatever I want to perform with the terminal actually I get access of the shell of root user so I can perform various commands so this is the netcat commands uh, netcat is working in this manner so you can transfer any files you can establish the connection and that you can uh, send any shell and uh, start using the uh, host machine or target machine terminal and if you want to hands on the experience then you can try this command by yourself and uh, I always told you in the previous video also I told you that you must need to maintain any kind of notes where you note down all the commands just like uh, who am I what is nc command uh, then what is a bin slash folder where it is located I all cover all the basics in the previous video just go to that video and refer the video and make your own proper notes how the system is working what are the basic command how to move to the another folder how to delete a folder which are already contained that the basic things which you are not going to find anywhere in the proper manner you will get all that in the previous video just go and refer uh, so thank you guys for watching this video uh, in the next video I'm going to take a socat command for you uh, socat is just like a uh, netcat only uh, this is another networking tool so thank you guys